West Pokot, and I mean it. We will change this county. Tunaelewana, kwa hivyo ndugu zangu wote viongozi wa hapa serikali ya Kenya haiwezi kuwa ni serikali ya kudhulumu wa Kenya. Hiyo haiwezekani. So muziko na wasiwasi, hakuna mtu atadhulumu nyinyi, wale tutapambana na hawa ni wakora. Hawa hawawezi kupata amani. Hawakora. Lakini nyinyi muko na shida gani? Nyinyi muko sawa kabisa. Muko mbele. Watoto wenu watasoma, maji mtapata, barabara tutatengeneza, dunia isonge. Ama niaje? Ile mimi siwezi kubali ni kwamba ati sehemu ya Kenya ibaki nyuma na inabakishwa nyuma na watu kidogo. Hiyo hapana. Hiyo nimekataa. Ah, memo kwa kise bwana. <laughs> eh? Tunaelewana? So hiyo ndio maneno. Na nyinyi mnanijua, si mimi si mgeni kwenu. Si ile mambo yote niliwaambia tutafanya tuta si mnaona barabara inasonga vizuri na dunia inasonga vizuri. Tunataka tushirikiane. Sawa sawa. Mwisho kabisa. Mimi natangaza nitangaze nikiwa hapa West Pokot. Tumekuwa na matatizo. Sisi ni Wakristo. Sisi inchi ya Kenya ni inchi ambayo inamcha Mungu. Wakristo, Waislamu na wale wengine wote wa dini zote ni kwa sababu tunatambua kwamba nchi ya Kenya ni nchi inayomcha Mungu. Kuna wengine ambao wanataka kutumia dini kuharibu na kuumiza watu wengine. Kutumia dini kuendesha maovu, mauaji, utapeli na ukora. Ndiyo tumesema ya kwamba jambo la kwanza ili kuhakikisha kwamba yale mambo yaliendelea kule Shakahola na ule mtu anaitwa Mackenzie sijui nani ili isirudi ili isifanyike tena katika taifa letu la Kenya tunaweka judicial commission of inquiry so that we can get to the bottom of what really happened in Shakahola with the Mackenzie and all his collaborators juzi tuli transfer wale wote ambao walizembea kazini wale commissioners policemen watu wa NIS watu wa CID ambao walikuwa pale maafa ya kiwango ile ikiendelea tumewaambia watoke kwanza ndio tujue what really happened So this week I will be appointing a judicial commission of inquiry so that what happened in Shakahola does not happen again in the Republic of Kenya. Jambo la pili nitafanya consultation na viongozi wetu wa dini katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tuwe na task force so that we can weed out the characters who want to abuse religion to run businesses and things that are anti-religion in the Republic of Kenya that we want to provide a framework agreed with our religious leaders a framework that will provide for self-regulation so that church so that religion so that our spiritual leaders can have a mechanism where they can point out to government those who want to abuse religion for other purposes so tutaketi chini na wao tutakubaliana so that we can have a task force that is going to help us create a, from, a framework where we can weed out the people who are abusing religion in our country So nataka niwashukuru sana eh, maskofu wetu kwa kutukaribisha hapa West Pokot